my goodness. There is always something crazy going on here in the attic. Welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review tonight. I'm so happy to be with you, and I'm so glad that you've tuned in for yet another amazing show. So every once in a while, I have to get a little aggressive about getting bands into the studio. I didn't have to do that this time. This band um, has put out some amazing music. They're out there doing stuff. You can catch them live. Um, there's a open mic that we'll talk about that you can catch some of the playas at. But tonight they're here live in the studio. They're gonna rock your world. I want you to welcome into your home and into your hearts the F and Blues Band. Just to see you, baby. I'd be so happy if it's your Wrapped up in the sheets when the daylight comes. You'd be long gone out the door. I see me when you please. Ghost me when you tease. Play me like a fish on a line. Oh, pop time. 
irreplaceable but Meanwhile I'm traceable Time for me to quit doing time I can't be your side dozen, baby track off the CD, by the way. Nice! I liked it. Thank you. Uh, this next one is a little tune. It's called Lying to Myself. Myself. 
been going on. You should have seen this one coming. <laughs> yeah. You always say I never do nothing for you, but I'm a change of it. That's right, girl. I packed up all your stuff and I brought it right out to the curb. <laughs> it's a new day and it's a new dawn. <laughs> I think that's her calling right now. So, baby, it's time to get stepping. <laughs> you gotta go. This one's a little coughing goal, Lucky 13.
the jack or the queen. to introduce the band if that's okay. On the guitar, vocals, the one and only Mr. Rick Stanner. Bass vocals, Mr. Tom Fuentes. And on the drums, the incredible Mr. Bob Tischer kicking out the band. I'm Tim. Tim Goff, and we are the FM Blues Band. And we are. We're playing uh, songs off our CD. Uh, when the blues come around.
you. Thank you. This is a little more of a rocker's tune that we're going to do here, but something I think we can all relate to. It's called That's My Story. Huh, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> You've heard this one. <laughs> Sitting at the red I just mind my own When old pro Johnny lost So I snuck out the phone No need for him to see me In my current condition But he's looking at me Just like a feather description Nothing but the blue.
Nothing about any of that shit. No. <laughs> I do. I'm a married woman. I know I nothing know. about love. <laughs> this, uh, this song about everybody needs somebody. We all, I guarantee that. COVID taught me that. Everybody needs someone. Everybody needs someone Everybody needs someone Stand by their side Not someone to lead them Or to leave them behind And baby I'm so glad that it's you Wasn't looking for love Stumbled day by day He had another plan When he sent you my way Take my hand We'll walk together, baby No, this was his plan Baby I'm so glad That it's you I'm going to play that for my wife tonight. Please. I will. <laughs> Let, just, just for the record, <laughs> that's never been an issue. <laughs> 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 
Um, this is gonna be. I know what it is, ah. and I'm ready for you. It's ironically coming after that song. This what's called "I've Been Wrong Before." <laughs> Coming in for a landing. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Chords and guitars and uh, men and oh my goodness. I don't know how to deal with all this stuff. Lions and tigers. <laughs> lions and tigers. So I shouldn't, I, sh I should preface something. I, I do know about love. And I do, I do. She's going to hear me say what I said and then get all upset. So. I love you, Lisa. So just, I had to fix that. <laughs> I had to and fix I that. Know or, there, she does too. or there wouldn't, or there wouldn't be any. What did you call it? A little. So, who said it? You said it. Bobby said it. There might be a little something, something. Oh well. <laughs> it was the bass player, but we're gonna blame the drummer. I'm, it was you. Sweet and innocent. Sweet and innocent. Well, you are the bad guy. He is. Yeah. All right. And we still so, love him. Okay, so, so I think that what has to happen is I have to ask a question, and then I have to go like this, and you have to answer it. Okay. But I want to move around because I got some stuff to say. Okay. So this is not your first band. This is not my first band, no. Um, I had a, another band for 30 years and um, decided uh, it was time for a change. So... Um, the, one of the keyboard player that was in the band before, uh, Peter Beers, mm -hmm. and me talked about it, and we started working on getting the blues band together. And once we got it started, he bailed out on us and moved to Florida. Ouch. 
Uh, and now this is our uh, creation that we've come into right now, and I couldn't ask for anything better than this. These guys are great. These guys are great. I was uh, watching very closely, and I'm more than more than impressed. I was impressed before, before I even brought you here, but you know that. So um, where did this name, the F in blues, it sounds like a dirty word. Um, where did this name come from? Probably alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's my story. I'll stick it to it. <laughs> I love that song. That's a great song. I'm going to move on for a minute okay. because we could we could get into some stuff. I'm going to try to come back here to Bobby. Hello, my friend. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? It's good to see you. It's how good you to see you, too. How is it being back here in the studio with all these drums? Well, I, you know, this place really sounds great. As a drummer, sitting in the back in the corner, sounds tight. Good job. All you guys. We got some, yeah. good, we got some good pictures, too. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. So you guys need to uh, look me up on Facebook because we're not friends on Facebook. Yes, we are. Oh, we are? Oh, yeah. Well, names didn't come up. But keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a great job. Yeah, now I'm going over here. This is not my best part. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How are you? I'm swell. I, I'm blushing? I'm not. So, <laughs> I know. I know. But you know why? Because I was watching your mouth while you were playing. And um, I want to know what it is you're saying while you're playing a solo. Don't screw it up. <laughs> no, there's actually like your lips are moving. Are you are you saying the chords that you're playing? No, it's completely involuntary. I have no idea what's going on with that. What's in your head? Don't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, we got some great shots. Thank you. What made you want to play with these guys? Well, uh, Tim asked me. I was kind of intrigued by it. I'd never done a blues band, and uh, it, w it seemed like it was going to be a lot of fun because I loved playing with Tim, and uh, just kind of stuck with it, and we just kept going. What kind of bands did you play in before this? Primarily uh, cover rock bands, but I was also in an original band called the Ben Charles Band. Years ago, we got started with, uh, with Ben, and uh, that broke up, and I was fortunate enough to hook up with Tim. I know the Ben Charles band, I don't think, I? I think Ben was here. I think Ben did a couple of acoustic songs with you here. Yeah, I I know the name. I know the name, but that's all, you know, my brain, you know. So what's your favorite part of being a part of this blues band? The way we can create music together. I mean, a lot of times Tom will come into the practice area with an idea. We got some words, and we just kind of like throw it against the wall and work on it, and it comes out like this. I mean, it was... So, uh, Tom's the word writer? Tom is pretty much the word writer, although Tim's got a couple in there, too. Okay. He's the man. Yeah. Well, I'm going to talk to Tom, too. Okay. But thank you for your amazing guitar player. Oh, we um, got some really great shots. I think you'll be happy with, thank you. with my cameraman. He's amazing. The camera people are tremendous in here. Are you kidding? They're awesome. This is yeah. really great. He's awesome. All right, I'm going to go over here and talk to Tom. I'm going to blush again. Okay. Okay, so... Notoriously, Notoriously, bass players yes. are not chased around from, like, after a show. That's true. But <laughs> the fact, wait, 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 wait. Okay. But the fact is the fact the that is. a good bass player right. has rhythm. And That's if, <laughs> if you're with a bass player, they know what they're doing. Absolutely. Rhythm, time, structure, it's all there. I was watching you. Uh -huh. You have a joy about you while you're playing. Well, it's easy with these guys, absolutely. It's, wait, I have to do this. Okay, it's easy with these guys, absolutely, you know. Do you think it's because of these guys or because of the whole music thing? Well, we're all here because of the music thing, and yeah. to be able to play music with uh, Bob and Rick and Tim just makes it easy. I mean, when we're talking about writing songs, uh, when you write a song with these guys in mind, it just sort of uh, flows and makes it, uh, the work a lot easier. What makes you write a song, Tom? Necessity. We started out with three, and we said, let's do a CD, so we need to write some more. So <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to say that on the radio on Monday morning. Okay. I'm going to say... Tom gets deep in 
into himself and has all these really cool thoughts. I just make up shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when we do an interview on the radio on Monday, we're going to say Tom just makes up shit. That would be accurate. That would be the best uh, representation of what really happens. I mean, if it, the stories that I write in some of these songs are just complete fabrications. But Tim's written songs that are straight from the heart, and that's what really takes courage. So he's not high. Okay, so the love song. The love song, absolutely. Did Tim write that? Tim wrote that. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, the... so what's your favorite song that's complete nonsense? Uh, complete fabrication? Mm-hmm. Um, I've been yeah, I've been wrong before. Uh, that's my story. Uh, let's see. You've never been wrong? No, I've been wrong a million times. That's what inspired that song. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been wrong. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> let's leave it at that and see what the wife says. Yeah, right. Okay. You know. <laughs> we all know that the best way to stay married Yes. is to say yes dear it's my favorite line <laughs> i say it all the time there you go <laughs> sounds like you need to use it a bit careful <laughs> <laughs> careful i only been married less than two years so okay. i, I want to stay last. this way <laughs> they never said that no they didn't congratulations not huh? yet well but do you want to come back here and talk some more please <laughs> Am I bothering you, Tom? No, I'm running out of stuff to say. No, you're not. I haven't, I haven't run out of interview yet. There you go. When I run out of interview, then you run out of stuff to say. We know who's in charge. When did you... Well, yeah. I am the host. Um, when did you first pick up an instrument? Um, for Seriously? No, really. Um, gosh, my parents had bought me little... You know, clarinets and things when I was a kid. Ew. You know, toy stuff. Toy. <laughs> Emma Nee. You played, you, pl you played the clarinet? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you said picked it up. <laughs> okay. No, really wanted to play. Uh, really wanted to play? Uh, freshman year in high school, I really wanted to play the guitar. I remember seeing Rex Trailer on Boomtown. I remember that had show. That big old J200. Yeah, he did. And it was like, a guitar sounds so cool. And so I always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. And I still am working on that. Well, you play bass phenomenally. Thank you. Yes, he does. All right, we're going to talk to you now. Okay, I'm right here. Okay, so you pull together this band. These guys are amazing. They are. And the four of you are tight. Uh, you know, it's like friends and family, all in one one group here. Um, everybody just clicks, gets along. Uh, no drama. We just have fun. We love getting together, seeing what we can create. So I'm very fortunate. I mean, these guys are really talented. So it, it you're really all works. four really talented. I'm gonna go with that because I've been wrong before, but you've never been wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit that. So. You have a new CD out. We do. It's uh, called Side Hustle. Um, the guys all got together, and uh, we just pounded it out in the, over at Bob's house in the basement because of the COVID restrictions. He went out and he um, he put up shower curtains all over in the basement so that we were all compliant. And uh, we threw some ideas out, and Tom's been amazing writing a lot of this stuff. It's just really good. And like you say, you throw it out, stick to the wall, and see what we can do with it. It's, How's that? That's perfect. No, that's not good. Let's try this again. You got it? Oh, it's got a little reflection on it. <laughs> there we go. There we there we go. go. Okay, so the most important question of the night. Where can you get them? Where can we get this CD? Um, it is available on what? Uh, Spotify, Spotify, YouTube Music, Apple iTunes, Music, iTunes, Apple Music. All your regular places to get music, it's there. If you so, contact us through Facebook, we will get a actual hard CD out to you. And that's the F and Blues Band, not the F and Blues Band. The website <laughs> is fandbluesband.com. Okay, that's the website. That's the website, yes. And on Facebook? 
It's FM Blues Band. Yeah, I think it's FAMB Blues Band on Facebook, but uh, <laughs> it'll pop up. Yeah. It'll be right. unique. The F ampersand Blues Band didn't pop up when I Facebooked it. Right, it's A-N-D. A-N-D. Okay, so we'll fix that. So there's really cool pictures up on, on Facebook. Oh, awesome. And for those of you that are watching this show on the 19th, which is my favorite number, by the way. It's, it's my favorite number. Um, I'm going to tell you that you missed an amazing interview, which is today we're recording, so next Monday. But that will be the Monday before the 19th. Yes, we will be there. We're going to be on WCNI 90.9 FM. And if you go into www.wcniradio.org, <laughs> then you can you can listen to the recorded. <laughs> I hate standing up here. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Usually I sit in my chair and I can run the show from my chair. Comfortable spot right there. Yes, the queen has her chair right there. Yeah, I'm not feeling queenie right uh, now. A little witchy maybe. But, but. Dot, thank you so much for inviting us out here and uh, letting us do it. We, it was a ball. Thank Coming you. here is always a ball. Yes. Even, even if you guys sucked, we'd still have a good time. That's true. And sometimes that does happen. We no, still have but a good you, time. Didn't, you didn't suck today. So That's I believe that. <laughs> I believe that the most important thing to happen at this point in our interview is for me to say, I'm done talking. If you have anything else you want to talk about, do it. I think we'd rather play a song. I was just going to say business as say? usual. Oh, yeah. What do you guys got coming up for dates uh, after the 19th of February? I believe it's the 26th of February. That's at the barn, isn't it? The barn in, uh, in Broughton. That's a new yes. place. Oh guys, I haven't I haven't even been there yet. Well, you have to. Oh, if you guys are gonna play there, I'm gonna come. Absolutely. That will be so much fun. I'll introduce you. Oh, that's even better. I'll come so that I can introduce you. Then I'll sit in the front row and heckle. We got some exciting things coming up. The Mohegan Sun, the Wolf Den coming up again. The Rat Skeller. Um, oh, the Rat. Oh. oh, I love it there. That place brings we're, back memories. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, that's a, that place has been around. Uh, the um, Mystic uh, Blues Fest on Mondays. Oh, okay. Be coming up this summer. In uh, July. That's, yeah, so. yeah. Who's who's putting that together this year? Um, I'm not sure who's running it this year. Um, all I know is that we will be a part of it. So that's the best I got for that one. Yay. It's, it's kind of not nothing's everything all set right now. So now, don't you do an open mic thing too? Um, I do an, uh, an open jam every Monday, I mean every Sunday at the American Legion. and Which we have now American Legion? There's, in Montville. There's a bunch of them. In Montville, yeah, from 3 to 7. Okay. So we've, and we've been having a lot of great people come out and a lot of talent comes down there. and We just have a ball, nothing structured. What key and, and we just go from there. What key and go for it. And I find that, that blues musicians can do that better than any other musicians in the world? Um, you know, and it depends. I mean, last week we had uh, Anthony Edley in there, and it, it, we played. It was the stuff that was coming out. It was just crazy. Um, so you never know. It's, it depends on who comes out. If I, uh, Sundays are so hard for me. But anyway, I think that we should get back to business as usual, and you guys should take us out with a song. That's a great segue. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha. All right, so I'm going to get off the camera here. All right, you guys, let me out. Let me out. And go ahead, bust it up, guys. I just don't know what to do anymore. Can't find the keys to unlock the door. I got plenty of time to do the things that I can Won't you please take me somewhere where I am Well, that look on your face says the feeling is mutual Another long day of business as usual Another long day So little 
as heaven, it's hard to recall. Spent a lifetime pressed up against a wall. I had plenty of deals for new invention. That just slipped through the fingers of my good intention. When I look on your face, says the feeling is mutual. Another long day of business as usual. Another long day. Well, it's deja vu on lover again. No telling if this is ever gonna end. Guess I'll pace the floor in a new direction. Keeping my babies for all protection. Well, it's deja vu all over again. No telling if this is ever gonna end. Guess I'll place the floor in a new direction. Keeping my babies for her own protection. It's another day and I'm still alive. Keeping everything bottled up inside. Oh, hope for tomorrow, get you free today. If you're sticking, thinking.